Hello and welcome back to Amateur Dota 2 League Season 3. This time we have Xeno Doc Shull playing against Special Tactics of Dota. And uh, we have a disconnection by a stand in. Pretty odd. Um, 10 seconds to go. But I believe he will reconnect in just a mere Five second. seconds. Steam has been having a lot of trouble or issues lately, Radiance so band. we have uh, seen many people disconnect and reconnect. And uh, we have band. our first bands from both teams. About it is time. Ember Spirit, Lycan, followed by Invoker, Radiance being banned band. out first. Ten seconds to go. Yeah. Nick Assassin will be their uh, second pick. ban for Xeno right now. And Bristleback is picked up first Radiant's pick. pick. Just uh, probably not wanting him to Radiant's get pick. banned in the second phase of banning. As well as Ancient Apparition being picked up. A very popular hero I lately. Especially on the first Bloods Dyer's and... Pick. And just the uh, overall band. support capability as well as the uh, global radiance for the blast. And uh, Mirana is uh, also picked up by Special Tactics of Dota and followed by Nature's Prophet on the Xeno Radiant side. Second phase Dyer's of bands band. fo uh, follows in by a Solark band and a Shadow Demon band. Radiance band. As well as a Visage. And we will see the last uh, band. For the phase two on the Xeno side, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a bane because uh, a lot of people Someone's are using having bane. Technical and difficult. Ten seconds to go. Huh, bane and um, five seconds. Mirana combo, and I think reserve time. There's, there's a Bane right there, and an Alchemist being picked up on Dyer's the Xeno side right after the Bane band. You know what? I think Earth they might Shaker even ask for a, a redo right now. Radiance pick. Is an Earthshaker being picked up on the special tactics of Dota? We'll see the fourth pickings in a few seconds, but it's not looking good for the special tactics right now. The STD group. Um. <laughs> They might actually need to redo the. Ten redo seconds game to go. Because it's in a US e server. I think they're both on United Five States seconds. or at least the America continent. So. Reserve. He's back and hopefully it doesn't disconnect. He is also a stand-in, if I may add. Looks like they really need a mid-hero on the Xeno side, Radiant side at this point. They need a well, they could use the support if Alchemist is going to be the carry, but uh, you never know with uh, Alchemist because he he's such a flexible character that one minute he can be a support, the next he can pull off uh, carry, as we saw with the international, the Tide Hunter. Navi and other teams are using Dyer's Alchemist pick. to its full potential. And here we have a Tide Hunter picked up. He can also mid. But he is a very s good support initiator and Radiance disabled band. hero with that uh, Ravage. And we have a Batfighter being picked up on Special Tactics of Dota that will conclude the second phase of pickings and go on to the last band Ten phase. Seconds to go. And uh, I really think Rubik is a very good Dyer's band. band. Especially after Tidehunter being picked on, they really, really cannot have 
Rubik getting tight hunted that will actually change the whole game in the blink of an eye one of the changes everything 10 seconds to go radiance pick death prophet is banned by special tactics of dota that will conclude the bans of this game uh, game one and we will go on our last pegs we will see who are picked up and who are left behind i think xeno will go for a ranged Tinker. last pick and he does a tick this is the third time that i'm Dyer's seeing pick. tinker today this is my third game casting and this is the third time seeing tinker will be a very interesting game they probably saw the uh, hopefully watch that awesome game by uh, I forgot their names already but they really need to pick out a hero I think Pugna would be their best bet at this point Pugna's Ten seconds um, to go. another ward will, will five seconds uh, Pugna's another ward will damage a ton on uh, Tinker and Tidehunters as well as Nature's Prophet which most of them rely on skill base um, damage es especially Tinker because he can't right click anything he has to either get a dagger, laser, missile and the march of the machines and then additionally rearm even though it does not uh, have any damage it uses a ton of mana which is again a ton of resource for a damage by Pugna side. I think they are contemplating on, or oh, the special uh, tactics of Dota are con contemplating on whether we're getting a uh, counter to Tinker or just go on and get what they had in mind originally. And there is an enigma right there. Radiant Very good pit. disable again as well as uh, Bad Rider. They will work intact. I think we will see Bat Rider middle, Bristleback solo, and Enigma half jungle, half uh, top laning with uh, Shaker and Mirana. And on the Radiant side, Ancient Apparition, uh, Alchemist, and Tidehunter will be on. I think they will go bottom, uh, bottom try lane, Tidehunter top, solo, and Tinker just going middle to rush up that bottle lane and whatnot. And we have another disconnection, this time on the Xeno side. 10 seconds to go. 5 seconds. Let me just introduce the teams um, on the Radiant side. It is uh, Skuza, Skaza, Sokaza on Alchemist, 0 0.5 on Nature's Prophet, Arf on Ancient Apparition, and Clique K, Clique K's on Tidehunter. But uh, and Pitot is playing on, I believe, Tinker. If I. <laughs> If I remember correctly, um, on the, the dire side, it is Art playing on Enigma, Panic on Bristleback, Slice on Batrider, and Walkanas on uh, Earthshaker, and lastly Gab Gabumon on Mirana.
Well, it is looking pretty bad. I think he is reconnecting. It would be pretty bad if they actually... If one, one of them ends up disconnecting and not being able to reconnect as uh, I've seen once. Hopefully this won't be the case and Steam will get its head together and not disconnect anybody else from the game. Or, or from the Steam platform. Here we go. Anytime now. Alright, carry on. Alright, here we go. I don't know why Alchemist decided to stun himself. Alright, let's look at the items where Enigma has a uh, soul ring lined up. 30 seconds to eagerly go. Eagerly waiting to buy that. He's most likely going to be jungling the um, entire early game. Just coming in for a few team fights to help and gank Bristleback getting a stout shield two iron branches and one tango on the bottom side it is Mirana soloing that that's a little little offset this is the second time it paused and I <laughs> Is there that treant? That's one good looking treant. Look at that face. Double damage. Bad rider picks it up and the treant uh, dies. Good try. Good try. Alright, looks like they're <laughs> bottom side. Very nice decked out cosmetic items. And look at that. Just a little observer ward to see what's happening. And Urshik is coming bottom. You don't really see Urshik coming bottom. Especially when you can block this right off area with a one big fissure. It just if you block an enemy uh, that is trying to get away, then it's it's an inst instant kill right there. Especially on the early game with the first blood. But it uh, looks like they really want Bristleback to be alone. I think he should have switched around and um, he would have been on the bottom lane. Mirana and Earthshaker would have been on top. That would have that would have given uh, Mirana and Earthshaker more advantage. And look at that. First blood coming in. Nope, not today they say. Not now at least. Yeah, chilling touch won't do anything. And that is uh, devoted by the Sentry Ward, put down by the Radiant, uh, what Mirana put in here, um, just then devoted and gave, um, I don't know who devoted that, but gave them a 50 gold advantage. Looking top, Mage's Prophet, getting fairly good 
in here. A good match with Bristleback. Bristleback being melee is not looking good on his side at least. Looks like Batrider has bottled Illusion Rune and is trying to go back to his lane and there are some random pigs, pings going on by Ursh I think they have no mic, no communication at all, so they're just drawing stuff in here. Apparently they were pulling up the creep bait, but I did not notice that. Ancient Apparition knows. Let's look at your middle now. Laser goes on Batrider. Batrider just getting a little napalm in here. But, uh. It's What's with all the scribbling? Eight stacks, nine stacks. Look at his speed, Jesus! He can't even move. It's like he's like crawling speed. Um, Enigma, Soul Ring completed. He's just waiting around, getting more farm in. Bristleback not in with a good lineup against a Nature's Prophet. As you can see, he just has 14 uh, last hits and. Uh, press back 12 on 3. It's not the end of the world, but it's still. He's taking more damage than he should. Uh, and here is a ward put down by the Radiant to uh, disable that creep wave. It was a uh, ancient. So that they don't farm it and uh, draw in any more. Mid tower could use a little help. With me. Nothing's really happening so far in the game. It is looking. Pretty, pretty normal. Trance the just scouting out the area, looking if anything is going on. Probably trying to find that uh, enigma, but that won't, that won't do anything. Radiant is trying to be sneaky as possible. I don't know if that's gonna pay off. Though they, they, they're spotted. They know where enigma is. Uh, the Triant got him. And look at that, Tinker. And as well as Ancient. Oh, Tinker going with the missile now. There, this might be... Yeah, I think this first is... Uh, yep, blood. there it goes with the first blood. Nature's Prophet picks first it up with blood. the ulti. Uh, Nature's Call. But um, Tinker is pretty low on health. 75 right now. Batrider coming in. Look at that. 20, 55 HP. Batrider probably doesn't notice that. Oh my god. I, th I think he will get away. He will definitely get away with that one. So the first blood goes to Nature's Prophet thanks to a very, very nice combination gank by Alchemist, Ancient Apparition, and Tinker, who pretty much did most of the damage with laser and missile. And look at that, Tinker already has battled up a Haste which will go and try to use it against Hello, who is there? It is Mirana. Look at that. Missile goes in. Laser ends the Mirana's lifespan like that. So that is one kill and one assist on Tinker's side, as well as an assist going on Tidehunter. He has banked up 1,000, about 1,200 right now. With the last hit coming in, he will be most likely sitting on or, or getting that power treads and then working his way for a blink 
or at least that's what it is going to look like. Dyer's mid gank having on technical difficulties. The raining side, but looks like Enigma and Bristlak wants to go on Nisha's Prophet. Nisha's Prophet Dyer's goes up into the trees. <laughs> Black hole coming in, doing ton of damage on Nisha's Prophet. Nisha's Prophet dropping to a 25 before Enigma ends his pain. At least Dyer gets one kill off of that. Look at this. Now Tidehunter. Ravage goes on both Murana and Earthshaker. They are trying to go in. There's no more mana for Fisher or anything else. South goes on Tidehunter. Tidehunter. I, I don't know how he canceled that. Uh, Sticky Napalm might have helped a little. Look at that. Flaming Lasso. Goes on Ancient Apparition. Ancient Apparition dropping to 180. Batrider getting caught in with the Treants. Treants and uh, Tinkerville. Nope. Ninja's Prophet will pick up that kill. And Rana just trying to get out of her life. Looks like she will dodge that with a leap. But uh, Tinker will clean up Earthshaker in that hassle. But it looks like. Uh, Tidehunter went for a hand of minus. Very unusual uh, seeing a Tidehunter with a hand of minus. Normally see Nature's Prophet, which he already has one. Guess what's happening to Dyer's bottom tower. That is a very nice push on that tower, although we don't see an acid spray coming in by Alchemist to help a little bit more. The the Dyer gave up a bottom tower. Ice Vortex goes in. Doing nothing. Radiance mid tower is getting banged up. Tinker already has finished the boots of travel, and uh, Alchemist they might try to go on for that bat rider. Look at that, Alchemist going in with the pop, throws it, and bat rider is far enough so that they don't actually go in for that. But on the top side, we see a triple trying uh, trying to dive a tower, but. I don't know why didn't they go on Bristleback. There is a ton of minions here, uh, creeps here too. Actually, tank um, most of that damage for them. But uh, by the looks like it, the looks of it, they uh, they thought Enigma or Mirana would actually come in and help Bristleback. But in the end, it's our Shaker who I think just TP'd in. Uh, no, he just walked in. But I don't know where he was though. Looks like they really want to push this top tower, but um, while pushing that top tower, Tinker is not being not not pushing with them, and he is just uh, farming the mill lane. But uh, if you look at bottom, there is nobody on the bottom lane. The Dyer might want to mine that top tower. Here comes Tinker, TPing in. Tinker comes in with a laser that will finish off Bristleback. Black Hole getting, catching pretty much everybody who is in there. And Bat Rider gets a double kill thanks to that Flaming Lasso and the, the, the Flame the flame Break. Bat Rider going with the triple kill this time and trying to go on Tinker. Throwing Napalm and... Um, uh, Mirana overextended the stay and got caught off by Tinker again. A bad rider escaping just in the meantime. That was a nice triple kill by Bad Rider, but uh, Mirana overextended and got killed out of that. So it wasn't a really fair trade off for them. But um, Bad Rider is Bad Rider, so what can you do? Nature Apparition uh, is just going in the middle, doing pretty much nothing, just farming away. 
Um, they're not looking to push in any other tower than top tower. They are really fixated on that. Um, the they might, might after that, the go on tower. to the middle tower. Dire structures looking fortified. I think that was a little uh, wasted fortification. Dyer's if you're not going to fight it, don't fortify it. Down. Dyer's top tower's gone. So that's a second tower for the Radiant team. They have a ton of split pushing capabilities with Nature's Prophet and Tinker. So, um, but beware if they leave it to the late game. That uh, Bad Rider, Bristleback, and Earthshaker involved with Mirana, I guess. Not Earthshaker, but that will, um, that will get him. Will we see a sniping? Will we see a snipe? No. Mirana will dodge that. <laughs> Mirana was looking where she was going, so that is always good. On her part, she didn't get killed. It's all good. Bristleback staying on the high ground. They know because of that ward. They know he is there. Although they can't see up from that cliff, they spotted him going down here. Dyer's mid tower won't last much longer. They just pop it front to uh, tree out Sprout on Batrider, but Batrider's flame break will actually help him with that. Sorry, the Firefly will help him with that. Mech gets activated on the dire side, and here's Alchemist dropping to a 52 50. Again, he's living. Nope, he will go down to Earthshaker. There's tons of stuff going on. I don't know which. Want to report on Dyer's to be honest. And here goes the middle the tower. Couldn't hang on to that mid tower. Comes Flaming Lasso on Nature's Prophet. Nature's Prophet getting a uh, one sticky napalm on, and he is on fire. But it uh, looks like he will live on. Dyer's mid tower is having technical difficulties. Yeah, they will fight for that top, top uh, bottom tower. But look at that bristle bag overextending again. He's not doing. He's just going in, taking a ton of hits. But uh, that won't kill him. But come on, look. You're already halfway in. Missile goes in, doing about 100 damage. And here's the mech. By, by who is that? Uh, Bristleback has the mech. I didn't even Radiant's notice that. Top towers in bad shape. Here comes Tinker again. Rana Zero won't connect them to anybody. Two ice vortex goes in, but doing nothing at all. Radiant's top towers taking hits. Has that black hole all the way to go, but. Um, that rider has a blink dagger. Guess what's happening to Dyer's bottom tower. The Dyer best do something about that bottom tower. Look at that. Blink in and ravage by Tidehunter. Helping out, securing at least one kill. Killing Enigma spree. Nature's Prophet getting another kill on Earth Shaker. Firefly activated on Bat Rider, but that won't do. Uh, that will not do anything. Looks like they are transitioning, or the Radiant side is transitioning to go on the Mirana side. Look at that TP in by uh, Tinker. Not even shy about it. 
I'm rather trying to juke that, uh, juke that missile won't, won't be, um, regeneration. Look at that, top three riches are on the Radiant side. Xeno are looking very, very well fed, but um, what they didn't do was they didn't stack any Ancients. Or, or at least I didn't see any, uh, any of them. They already got the bottom tier 2. They are probably looking to get the middle one. If not, they can always TP in and go contest that top tier 2 tower they're looking very very well defended look at that no damage done to tier 1 bottom side <laughs> not a lot done on middle that or top unstoppable. Tinker picks up Nirana I don't know where where that occurred probably on the bottom side where I wasn't Paying attention at all. Um, it's looking bad for STD at this moment because they really don't have any bottom towers getting the business. any tactic. They just they're standing in and they're defending. Gold is about ten thousand on the twenty minute the mark. Uh, if you look at XP, it's not it's not much of a difference. It's just about the gold. It's just about the gold. Let's get hero levels. They're pretty much evened out. Although uh, Mirana looking a little underfarmed or under leveled, I should say, on that end. And net worth, look at her. She only has 3,000. Let's get her items real quick. And Dyer's you will see it on face boots when we fan. Glove of haste. Not looking good at all. On the top tower, we see Ravage not activated yet. Ravage. Here comes Ravage. First Shaker is the first one going down, secondly going down Bad Rider, and lastly Bristleback getting killed, but Bad Rider picks up 500 thanks to that uh, Firefly. So that's a 3 for none, so 3 for 1 trade. Dyer's top towers, you know the drill. Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. Dyer's mid tower won't last much longer. Looks like the um, Dyer side won't even contest for that mid tower. They will just go on and try to stay on the the tier three tower. Dyer's mid tower is having technical difficulties. Double degradation. Looks like Tinker is now working on the. Dagon has the staff of his really and an old talisman and he comes a recipe makes a Dagon level one. Dominating He's profit picking off Bat Rider with that with that. And here we have a TPing in by Tinker right into the heart of the game. And look at the black hole comes in Bristol by trunk the other way, but Dagon gets but, uh, gets him by uh, Tinker, and right now Enigma dropping very low, and Tinker also gets that with another Dagon, so that's a two Dagon kills, very rarely used on Tinker. Dyer's mid towers having technical difficulties. You know, I think they should have just called GG um, at that point because there is no way that they the can back 
after this. Look at that. He's jabbing 2 3 like nobody's in business, and he has a god like Tinker has a god like right now, right after uh, picking off Mirana. Dyer's mid towers having technical difficulties. And um, Tinker has died. No. Hope the Dyer so he, uh, that Tinker hasn't died yet. Best do something about that bottom so, tower. so he's flawless looking. Earthshaker with a defensive fisher just to buy off some time. And I don't think it's, it's looking anything like that. Look at that tier 3 pushing in. Like nobody's moves having a chance to tank that tower. comes a fisher that actually catches Tide Hunter and uh, Jesus Mirana. Five uh Firefly Act but on Bat Rider. Bat Rider has not he didn't get anybody on the flaming lasso and he just stood there baiting for himself to kill basically. Ravage goes on Tide Hunter by Tide Hunter. Pick woohoo Jeez, that is... <laughs> Shaker with a triple kill will be picked off by Tinker and getting a double kill. That's, yeah, um, it's, it's GG. Necro 3 book Dyer's helps a ton while pushing in, uh, gives gives um, attack and defense to the Dyer's creeps that you're pushing you with. Mirana, poor Mirana, has a hand of Midas. I don't know when she picked that up, but that's a bad pickup, especially right now. They can't defend. They already got their middle barracks gone. Uh, Ancient Prophet gets picked off, but look at that. This back gets owned. From whom? It's Tinker. Well said, Tinker. Well said. That was a nice quote. Look at that. This later. Oh, I didn't think my activate. The BKB? Why did he activate the BKB? Roshan is being taken by the raiding side. Dagons and lasers are going out. Looking pretty bad on the dire side. Look at how much they have in bank, or or at least uh, how much they have accumulated over the game. So Tinker actually goes down once. Dyer's top towers getting beat down. So something. And here's the Necrobook at work. Increase movement and attack speed of nearby units 9% on the archer ranged Necro. Dragon 4 on Tinker 
pipe coming out of uh, Tinker. Sorry. Tinker TPs in right now. Black Hole gets three of the Radiant members and comes in Earthshaker with the ulti. Earthshaker gets a double kill right here. Enigma picking up Mage's Prophet. Uh, so right now it's Tidehunter against these three. That Rider is dead. Tinker trying to save his buddy Tidehunter, but it looks like Tinker will actually pick off the kills and. And uh, Tidehunter lives on. That was a very well game played by Enigma. Going with BKB, going in and activating Black Hole, catching three, and then immediately Earthshaker coming in and uh, activating the ultimate. So, Echo Slam, yep, it is Echo Slam. Look at that though, Dagon 5, 800 burst damage. Three arms and he's another Dagon. <laughs> For good measure. Just ancient apparitions global. Mid -tower won't last yeah, let's look at the melee. No, that's the range. There's the melee. Them uh, true sight. Last will damage Troll delta unit that kills Necro. Warrior is 600. Jesus. And mana break, Nothing which burns mana. Dyer's top rags is in trouble. Here's a GG called by STD. We will see you on the second game as uh, I think this GG kind of came in very, very late. They thought they could actually make a comeback, but after Tinker gets the Dagon 5 rearms, then Dagon 5 you again. I think that's a sign that you should probably um, give up and look for another game. I won't be surprised if they ban out um, Tinker first or even Tidehunter at that point, but um, we'll see what happens in the second game. Uh, I don't want to talk about the items because I've been looking throughout, looking them throughout the game, and I will see you guys on the next game, probably five minutes or so.